everyone. Welcome to the video tutorial on how to create an API with the type dashboard. Log into your dashboard and go to system management. Click on APIs. On the top corner on your right side, click on add new API. From here, you can set up the base configuration for your API. So from API settings, you can add your API name. I'm just gonna call this pet store. You have a lot of different options like categories, protocols, etc. The API slug is essentially a URL friendly representation of your API name. So if you say update this to pet store training, the API slug is automatically updated. I'm just gonna go ahead and change that back. From the target section, you can add your target URL. Because we want to use the Swagger Pet Store for this demo, I'm gonna go ahead and copy the URL and paste that in here. So as you can see, we have a lot of functionality built into the dashboard, like rate limiting and authentication and all of that. So this is basically a security mechanism to use with your API. If you wanna provide security, you can just set it to auth token, but there are a bunch of other options as well. For this demo, I'm just gonna set it to open or keyless. What this will do is the gateway will not check for any form of authentication before it accepts the request. So I'm just gonna go back to the top and save that. Once saved, you can see the message here saying that the API has been successfully created. And you can see the API over here in your list of created APIs. If you click that, it'll take you inside and you can see the API URL and the API ID here. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this URL and open Postman. Okay, let's just put that URL that we've just copied in Postman and try sending a request to see what we get. What you'll see is that we can't really access through the pet store API because there is no response provided from that path. So what we need to do is to check which endpoints are available on Swagger Pet Store. So as we can see that, we can see there's a pet endpoint where we can set an ID and we should essentially get a pet back. Let's try that out. Slash pet, and I'm just gonna give it an ID, say four, and try sending a request to see what we get. Awesome. Now we've got some JSON data here. You can see dogs and the ID and strings. You can actually go to the pet store website to see if this is the actual data. So let's try and verify this data here by going to the URL and filling in the pet ID. Great, so we see the name, dogs, and all of the data is essentially what we've got on Postman. And we've now verified the data. So what we've seen in this demo is that we've added the API definition to type, and we've been able to send the request and receive a response. Thank you for watching.